Hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is in the world. Um, I hope this message finds you well. So, for the scripture today, we have Philippians 20 and 21, and it reads, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And that's, again, that's Philippians 20 and 21. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for another day in your presence. We thank you for your glorious word, for leading us, having your hand on us, instructing us. Um, being patient with us, molding us, and creating us in your image, Lord. We ask that we honor you, and we ask that we be um, the person that you knit together in our mother's womb, and the one that you knew before you even created us in our mother's womb. In Jesus' mighty master's name, we pray. Amen. So what this means um, to die is gain in the context of this scripture and the surrounding scriptures um well it could be talking about a literal death like when we pass away and we get to be with christ but what it means metaphorically is to lay down our life and our desires now we have to remember that the body is at odds with the spirit and we're born in flesh and we're born in the body but we have to crucify our body because it's like um, like a dog. You don't want it to be unruly. You want it to be well-trained. And in order to do that, we have to say no to lust. We have to say no to, um, you know, overindulgence and gluttony and, you know, excessive pleasure. Um, you know, a way that I crucify my flesh is like um, after the hot water in the shower, I take a cold shower for like five to ten minutes um, just to activate my, the cold activates your theta state, which is your state of creativity, but and it also closes your pores, but um, it's good for, you know, shocking your body a little bit and disciplining your flesh. So, Another way that I discipline my flesh is, like, not eating meat. And, you know, 90% of the time, not eating dairy. Um, and, and obviously, by working out. Um, but another way that we would um, go against our flesh and, um, you know, the, the sin that comes naturally to the flesh be like not using profanity or obscenities and stuff like that. We have to train our mind to be thinking about godly things. So you, we can't always think about like relationships or, you know, how to be successful in our career. Because um, if we idolize marriage and we idolize our career and we idolize the nice mansions and the supercars, and, you know, everything here on this earth, then we might miss, you know, the smile that we are supposed to give somebody at the grocery store, or just being kind and considerate, and um, listening with the intent to understand when, you know, somebody tells you that they're going through something, or, you know, giving the $20 bill in the glove compartment to the homeless person, like, Whatever we are called to do or we hear in our spirit that we have to do and um, look over it, we're not supposed to be looking over it because we're so busy with our life. We're supposed to be laying down, you know, our life, not necessarily our desires because I'm all for success and I think we should be successful and, you know, do our purpose in the earth. But we have to put God first and the kingdom has to be first and his will has to be first and 
his desires for our life has to be first. We didn't create ourselves. The last time I checked, I didn't put myself in my mama's womb. My my daddy put me there. But more than my earthly daddy, even more than my earthly daddy, my heavenly father, um, you know, did that and caused my parents to meet each other and and fall in love and get married, etc. So all of it is a part of God's divine plan. I am um a big fan of giving God all the glory because I know to an extent how powerful he is and I stand before him trembling um because I know his power but he loves me and he always smiles on me and you know holds me and comforts me but he is powerful like it's not just like, oh, this is our father. Like, this is the creator of everything. Like, y'all don't mess with him. Don't get comfortable and, and cute and stuff just because, you know, he your daddy. Like, you know, he's still God at the end of the day. We still have to reverence our father. And I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for being in this live and for using me as a mouthpiece and as a vessel. And for allowing me to lay down my life for you. So I ask that you help me make better quality content. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. But I know I'm supposed to be making this um, and doing it for a year. So y'all lay down y'all life for Christ. And I'm going to do it too. We're going to help each other. And then it's about to get really good. God wants to bless you in ways that you've never been blessed before. He wants to honor your bloodline through you. He wants to honor your family through you. He wants to establish you in the earth. Listen, all these blessings that the Lord has for you, it's not like, oh, you're never going to come into them. The devil wants to trick you and say, oh, no, it's boring living for Christ. It's boring living for Jesus. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't cuss. You can't smoke hookah. You can't drink strong drink. You can't masturbate. You can't, you know, gossip. You know, you used to live off gossip. You can't gossip. You know, gossip is a sin. The devil want to be in your ear and make it sound like, you know, it's boring. Like, he he's a liar. The devil is a liar. It is so peaceful to live a clean life, to strive for for holiness and um you know for to be a spotless bride the the lord is coming back for a spotless bride we don't want stains on our gown i mean that applies to you two fellas you know we're supposed to be spotless we're supposed to be in all white you know and that's not weird or anything we are all the bride of christ being in his body being his body we are all the bride of christ and we're we're supposed to be prepared he's coming back for a prepared people so um with that being said <laughs> i didn't mean to go off on a tangent <laughs> Um, but he wants to do something new in our life. And the the devil would try and have you think that living for the Lord is boring, but he is a liar. And the Lord it's nothing to the Lord to establish you in your career. It's nothing to the Lord to um eradicate your mortgage. You don't have to have a mortgage. He doesn't want he doesn't want you having a mortgage. In the word it says you're a lender and not a borrower if you're being obedient. Are you being obedient to God? Cause you're not supposed to have a mortgage and it's nothing to him to do that. It's nothing to him to eradicate your credit card. As a matter of fact, he's getting ready to show you that it's... I, I know because I'm a witness. Right now, no car note. No student loans. I drive a 28... Y'all don't need to know what I drive. <laughs> but just know I don't have a car note. Okay? I don't have any car note. The Lord did it for me supernaturally. I've been believing on him. And reciting all this i'm about to not have a mortgage i got a couple more months okay and i'm 26 for anybody out there listening to the three followers um subscribers who i do have you know holla hold it hold it down <laughs> he gonna do it for you too um uh, stay with me and we're gonna we're gonna live a debt-free life with serving Christ first, um, you know, we're going to lay our life down for him at the altar. And it's going to be the best decision we ever made day day in and day out because it's a it's a constant decision. 
it's a decision over and over. It's continuous over and over and over again when you want to cut somebody out, when you want to retaliate, <laughs> when you want to look sexy. Sometimes I want to I want to post sexy pictures and stuff. You know, I can't be doing that. You know, you can't you can't make the flesh rise up. You post something, you're gonna attract that. So you have to be godly, and you have to. Um, be for the ladies, you have to be the Proverbs 31 woman that the Lord put inside of you, you know, for the fellas, you know, I don't know, maybe it's not as hard for the guy. I feel like guys don't really thirst trap as much as women, but, um, anyways, I'm about to get off of here. (laughs) Have a wonderful rest of your night, a wonderful rest of your evening, a wonderful rest of your day. Um, whatever time this message is catching you at, um, I look forward to the testimonies of the Lord paying off your mortgage. If you, um, this is a word for somebody to one of the three (laughs) subscribers listening right now, the Lord is about to move you. If you're renting and you don't have a house, he's about to move you from a condo or an apartment or the Airbnb, wherever you're renting from, to a house. And it's not, it won't be long now before that mortgage is paid off. So not only are you coming into your new house, and I'm talking new, I'm not talking a, a used house, I'm not talking somewhere that's been lived in before. The Lord has some something new for you, something that's never been lived. Not only are you coming into your new house, your new home, but it's, you're not going to have a mortgage. It's going to be paid off in less than a matter of five years. So that's for somebody. Um, Yeah, God doesn't want debt over your head. So, I mean, if you get in the Word and you study it and you break it down, what it means, it wouldn't be shocking and wouldn't be surprising just because everybody, you know, got credit cards and everybody got car notes and everybody got this and everybody. Don't mean we set apart. We elite, we're the few that are on the straight and narrow. Stuff doesn't, every. we're not, we are not everybody. We are his select few. We are his chosen. Many are called. Guess what? Not everybody pick up the phone. And not everybody is chosen. If you listening to this message right now, you are chosen by the Lord himself, handpicked and everything. So he don't want you in debt. I promise you, that's not his vision for your life. You're not always going to have a car, no. Somebody getting ready to have a vehicle paid off. If you don't have a vehicle, you you about to come into one. Because he need his children with some wheels. Okay? He need his children in houses. Houses. You know, houses. Paid off houses. Paid off cars. No student loan debt, no credit card debt, no debt for the dentist bill, whatever it is, medical bills, all that. He he about to pay it off supernaturally. Watch. He did it for me. Um, and that's for somebody. So, um, yes, you have a blessed rest of your evening, a blessed rest of your, um, day. Get ready to witness miracles and expect to be walking in the supernatural because if you made it this far you are you are not the same (laughs) you different yeah you different so expect to be seeing some tangible evidence that the lord is favoring you and that his hand is on your life today in this hour all right all right y'all holla